it's Matt. It's the Book College. I'm Mr. S. I'm Mr. A, and it's time for some geometry, or also known as sort of working with shapes. Before we get into that, though, we need to introduce. We've got a. We've got a look, you might have noticed something crazy behind us already. I don't even know what it is, but we've got a magic new board, and this board is actually really good for a number of reasons. It, it helps us teach you maths, but actually, it can help us show off some of your work as well. Now, I know we do the feedback in the intro video, mm -hmm. and if you've missed that, go and check it out. But we did need to show you this. Look at this wow. picture. This has been done by Caitlin from Portsmouth, who is five. That is incredible, and Caitlin. Hasn't she done really, she's done really well with it. I think that's a very good effort, Caitlin, and we're really pleased with that painting. You should be very proud of that. Very well done. If you've got something you want to send to us from Mural, if it's a, you know, a picture that you've painted, we're, we're happy to put it up here, just like Caitlin's done. Okay, now, you were saying? Today, we're going to look at something called angles. Now, Mr. S, you've got the definition of angles ready in your dictionary. We couldn't I go to have... the professor. But Mr. S, what is an angle? An angle. Uh, spiritual being that some people believe live in heaven and act as messengers for God. No, stop. Angle. Stop. No, no. Have you spelt that? A-N-G-E-L. Yeah. Angle. That, that is angel. Uh, I'm looking at this word. Angle. Now, an angle, the best way of describing it is formed when two lines meet, okay? And we measure that point where they meet in something called degrees. Now, there's two ways you can talk about angles. You can talk about them as when two lines meet, or you can talk about them as a turn, a measure of turn. Because someone might be facing one way, and they might turn, staying on the same spot, to face another way. And you might say, well, how far in degrees have they turned? And we're very lucky because the government have only just announced having me that angling is something we're actually allowed to go and do now. Again, that is not the definition That's we're looking really at. Really. That is fishing. Oh, this is confusing, isn't it? No, it's very simple. Think about shapes. Shapes are made up of angles. Triangles, they've got a number of points where lines meet. They've got three, in fact. Two lines meet here. That's yeah. one angle. Two lines meet here. Yeah. That's another angle. Are they on there? And another line meet here. That's the third angle. That is cool, that. Very cool. That really board. helps. It does. So, today, that is what we're looking at, just at angles. Now, to measure angles, we don't use a ruler like we've used to measure length. We don't use scales like we've used to measure weight. We use something called a protractor. Now, a protractor is a very, very, very clever measurement instrument. A protractor? Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen some of them before. So I've seen like amateur tractors, which probably aren't very good. And then I've seen like pro tractors. So they like, you know, are they like a bit faster, maybe a bit bigger, can carry more sheep on the back? Nothing to do with tractors. Nothing to do with was? professional tractors. No, no, protractor, one word. Now, we're gonna show you how to use a protractor. Now, we're gonna just be using two lines that meet today, but in the future, we'll be able to work onto whole shapes. So let's have a look at these two lines and how they meet and how we measure them. You see, a protractor is a special form of measurement instrument because it has zero at two ends. You can see it has it at this end and it has it at this end. Now, it's very important that we make sure we use the right end to start off with. Now, what we do for this is we choose one of our lines, preferably one that is nice and flat, that is running horizontal. If your two lines meet and neither are horizontal, you could always rotate your page until one of them is. And these lines are allowed to meet because they're from the same household. We did check, didn't we? Before Just were. one of those lessons with you, isn't it, today, Mr. S? I'm trying my best. So we rotate it so one of our lines is horizontal. Now we can view this line like an arrow pointing towards the zero we want. Here you can see our line points to the right. So we're going to use the zero on our protractor that is to the right. That is where we're going to start. So first of all, we line the bottom of our protractor up with that horizontal line. Now next, we need to look at the point where those two lines meet, because that is the angle that we're measuring, the angle between those two lines. Nosey Safari Park. That's where lines meet. No, no, not lions. Lines! I, I beg read a bit more of this, shouldn't I really? Really, you should. Sure. Today. Carry on. And we make sure that those two lines meet on the exact centre of the protractor just here. Okay, and you have to be really careful with that. So the bottom of our protractor is still lined up with that horizontal line and where they meet is lined up with that central point. Those two bits are very important. It takes a lot of practice, so make sure you're practicing that at home. And then what you do is you've got the bottom line lined up. You look at where your second line 
that is coming at an angle, where that goes on our scale. Now, it's important to make sure you are reading from the zero. So start from the zero and trace up to make sure you're reading the correct scale. And here we can see that is our angle. And we use a special symbol, like a little zero, just floating up at the top, that tells us we've measured in degrees. Not like temperature, before you start talking about Celsius or Fahrenheit, this is an angle degree. How much of a degree angle of turn? Now, just before we go, we want to tell you about one special type of angle, and this one's called a right angle. Now, right angles are exactly 90 degrees, and they look like this. And you've never seen them before. They're a very common angle, like the corner of your dictionary, Mr. S. The corner of this Dean's block. We could go for a whole selection. These cubes have got right angles We've on them. We've even got some right angles on this thing. There's right angles all over that one because they can be in any rotation as long as the two lines meet at 90 degrees. So your task today, you're going to look at measuring a few angles and also looking for angles that are 90 degrees. Now, if you don't have a protractor at home, there is a link in the description down below that you can use. But if not, when you're next out on your weekly shop, places like Tesco's and Asda, they, they normally have... angles. No, they don't sell angles, but they might have a protractor for you if you need it. If you need to watch that again to remember how to line up the protractor, do that but those very simple instructions make sure you rotate the page so one line is horizontal line up the bottom of the protractor make sure the two lines meet in the center of the protractor and then make sure you read the correct scale to find the angle that your two lines meet well, that is today's maths lesson and we've got to go to be honest because today's actually a very special day i didn't tell you this did i no go on today's a very special day because 10 years ago today i asked my best friend the love of my life the most and the most beautiful girl in the world to marry me? Actually. All three turned me down. 